Once the footings have been prepared, it's time to get the material ready. As you saw earlier, the collapsed forms are easy to carry because of their light weight and compact size. Most installers find the walls go up faster if they stage their tools and materials within the wall perimeter. That being said, be sure to keep everything at least six feet from the walls. You will need at least that much distance to set up the alignment system once the walls are up. When everything is ready, begin placing the forms. Start the first course at a corner on a long wall and establish a pattern by working either clockwise or counterclockwise. The forms are easy to open. Hold the form so that the long end is at the bottom and brace it against your stomach. Pull the upper section towards you and the form is ready. Opening a corner form is similar. The only difference is you have to remove and reinsert the web on the short end of the corner. Do not forget to reinsert the web or the form will be significantly weakened. Make sure the forms are butted tightly together when you position them. If you leave extra space, you will have problems when it comes time to lay the second course. To avoid possible spacing problems, some installers like to lay both the first and second courses at the same time. That way, the interlock between the courses positions the forms for you. If you use this approach, you will also have to place the horizontal rebar between the first and second courses as you work. We'll talk about rebar placement in a moment. When you get to the next corner, place the corner form and the adjacent standard form and measure the distance to the previous standard form. Now, cut a length of standard form to fill the gap. Work away from the wall so you don't get EPS shavings in the wall cavity. Ideally, you should cut the form along the preformed grooves. That way, you will maintain the interlock when you place the next course. Since the grooves are spaced every two inches, the corner form's position may be out as much as one inch. If this is not acceptable, go ahead and cut the standard form away from the groove. We'll show you how to compensate for any interlock problems in a moment. If the location of the cut results in more than four inches of unsupported foam, you will have to reinforce the ends to prevent the foam from flaring out during concrete placement. Weather permitting, run two lengths of fiber tape around the cut ends before putting the form in place. Otherwise, reinforce the joint with strapping. When you place the concrete, the fluid pressure generates the greatest forces at the corners. As a result, you should avoid cutting the corner forms. It's a good practice to use either tie wire or zip ties to fasten the corner form to the adjacent standard forms. Once the first course is in place, it's time to start installing the horizontal rebar. That's what we'll talk about next. <laughs>